Coming up, we're heading out to Universal to eat some food. Nom, nom, nom. From the Bob Varley Studio in Orlando, Florida, this is the Universal Edition of the Diz Unplugged. This is episode 234 of the Diz Unplugged Universal Edition. The Diz Unplugged Universal Edition is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel, experts at helping you plan the perfect universal vacation. Visit them on the web at www.dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. The Diz Unplugged Universal Edition is also brought to you by Disboards.com. If you're looking for even more information to help you plan your universal Orlando vacation, head over to Disboards.com and join the discussion today. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of the Diz Unplugged Universal Edition. I am your host, Craig Williams. I'm joined alongside by my co-host, Rhino Clavin. Hello. Hello. And yes, we've got a very fun episode for you this week. It is uh, us going to Universal and eating. Quite haven't figured that out yet, what we're actually going to eat. It's a mystery. I know. Well, honestly, now that I think about this, we probably could have just even done without doing the studio portion of this because we don't really have anything to talk about at all rude i was gonna say rude but i can't think of a conversation topic so you're right you are correct no we we really don't have a conversation topic i was thinking like right before we started i was like okay what was the news this week and then realized well it's in the middle of halloween season there absolutely is no news okay i'll i'll start a conversation for you oh do you think we'll ever have the pizza fries I don't know. This season. Pizza and s'mores fries? Craig, I, I s'mores don't, fries. Are you coming with me uh, to HHN on Thursday night? I believe I am. Your wife informed me of details. Okay, then uh, maybe we'll get them that night. Mm. If not, maybe this weekend sometime? I don't know. But I that probably, I don't know if you'll want that in an episode or a separate thing or whatever. Yeah, I mean, we, we might try something different. Other, maybe, definitely the s'mores fries, because, you know, the, the pizza pizza fries, we've it's, had two years of that now. It's going to be the same. It, and I have had them, and they yeah. are the same. Yeah. Delicious. I'll tell you right now. Spoiler alert. Delicious. Yeah, so, I mean, a full episode devoted to pizza fries. I, I don't I mean, feel like enough's changed. We've but got a podcast devoted to pizza. That's where it belongs. Yeah, if, if only. But Zaz with the bras. Yeah, Zaz and bras. Yeah. Uh, and that's also We good. just talk about Victoria's Secret and yeah, pizza. Exactly. And <laughs> two bras talking about bras and Zaz. <laughs> So, yeah, no, but definitely s'more, 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 s'mores, s'mores, s'mores-ies. Uh We'll try the, the s'mores fries, uh, you know, maybe maybe get our hands on some of the other HHN food. We'll probably do that soon here. Uh, don't know if my, uh, as you know, we're, we're recording this on a Tuesday. Don't know if my Wednesday availability will allow me to consume that food before we go out and do this dining review. But we'll have to see. Maybe I can, maybe I can move some things around. I can... The cross well, the... if we're going Thursday and then Wednesday and then I have to go Sunday too. I mean, I love Halloween Horror Nights, but I, and then I'm going to the Universal Park all day on Saturday and Monday. Oh, well, I'm. I think I'm just having a Universal yeah. themed week. Where, I, why, why wouldn't you? I can already tell you, I'm not going to Horror Nights on Sunday night. I'm going. If I do, I'll be there really, really late at night. Uh, I'm doing other stuff on Sunday, but I'm going probably Wednesday and Thursday for sure. Definitely mm-hmm. Thursday. Wednesday's a cool question mark. I was just talking about this uh, the other night with with a friend, and I'm like, I don't as hyped up as we were about HHN this year. It's then I've gone a handful of times, and it's like I'm at the point where it's now like if I go twice more for the rest of the year, I think I'm good. Well, I've I, lost I, it. I think it was a lot of the. Uh, I felt like I had to go a lot in the beginning because before it gets busy, and we did have a couple of nights where it was the weather was okay, and like so I was like, okay, go now, go now, because it'll just be insane later. So, I've yeah, I feel like I've I've definitely gotten the worth out of my frequent fear pass, which is just the normal Sunday through Thursday. Oh, yeah. Um, and then unfortunately, I didn't get to use my Friday ticket with my pass because I had to go home. But, um, I. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm also like, I'm basically at this point using it for when like a friend comes into town, which is what happens on Sunday. Yep. And so we made those plans. He bought his tickets. We're going on Sunday. If you see yep. us, say hello. Yeah, that's, I mean, with me, it's like, okay, well, 
I've done everything. I've gone to the point where my pass has probably now cost me for every single time I've gone in maybe twenty bucks. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, you know, if uh, back in the day before a list existed, that's what I was paying to go see one Dolby movie. So I feel like the entertainment value has already been justified. But at the same time, too, it's I don't know. I don't know. I need to get back in the Halloween I, spirit. I'm I'd probably out of it. go a couple times because I, I do like the Lagoon show quite a bit. So I, I'm actually finding that if I go and do like one or two houses, even just one house and watch that show, I feel pretty good about yeah. myself. No, that, that's kind of where, where I'm at, too. It's not like, I don't know, it was really that day though where we waited way too long for Stranger Things. It mm. just soured me. I'm like, this event... I I can never yes, justify I that. I can never. Yes, exactly. Yes. I I just. Ugh, ugh, that was a bad time. So, but anyways, bad times can also lead to good things, and in this case, good food. Hopefully, mm-hmm. so let's head out to Universal Orlando and see what we decide to eat. We've made it to Universal, and we are deciding to dine at City Walk today. Specifically at the place that is directly behind us. The bread box. Oh, that's right. Yes, bread box. Not to be confused with the lunch box from Roseanne. Yes, uh, bread box handcrafted sandwiches. So it's been a long time since we've done a review on it. Uh, looking back at our videos, Rhino. I think I was by myself yeah. when I did it. Yeah, I think you were either by yourself or with Steve, and that was years ago oh, now. So yeah, I did come with Steve. I don't think I've done an official review of it in even longer. Yeah. So... Quality check, though, you know? Quality exactly. Check. Yeah, we're getting to the point where we're running out of places that we haven't done for the show, so now we've got we've to do them for the first time. So this is not one of those. This is a quality check one. So let's, uh, starting to rain here. Let's get inside. Check it out. I went with the veggie. It was, I wanted something toasted and uh, I thought I'd try something different. I oftentimes will get the tuna here and I enjoy it, but uh, the veggie is portobello, avocado, tomatoes, caramelized onions, Swiss cheese, arugula, truffle oil, basil pesto on a multi-grain uh, bread. But I hate Swiss cheese. Um, and he said nobody else that likes it either, but um, I opted for, I asked if I could change it and they had like six or seven different types of cheeses. I went with Munster. I was feeling super fancy today, so I'm excited to dive into this. I'm not always a fan of Portobello, uh, so we'll see, though. I was, I'm trying to go outside of the box. They got me on the truffle and arugula and the avocado. They got me on everything else, so. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. The bread's good, nice and crispy. It's like just that right toasted level I like, nice and crispy. Um, the arugula is really fresh. I like the avocado in here. I love Munster. The only thing is the portobello, and then it has those um, grilled onions on it, or caramelized onions. It makes it kind of a little greasy. You can see it a little shiny there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another bite really quick here. Mm. You know what? I got a lot more of that basil pesto in there this time, and I feel like it's overtaking the truffle, but it's pretty good. I like it so far. Um, yeah, I, I do enjoy it. It's definitely really light. Um, I was about to be like, it's definitely a veggie sandwich, which is literally what it is. So, um, And then I got a side of potato salad. Mm-mm-mm. It's pretty good. I like my potato salad when it's got a little bit, the potato's a little bit bigger. Um, but it's, it's like not overly flavorful, but not like, not, it doesn't, it's not bland. It doesn't taste like nothing. It's a little tangy. I want to say this is maybe the flavor of dill I'm tasting, but um, what I like is you can get uh, fries, tots, potato salad, and there was maybe another one, but Craig, I'm going to let you... Oh, what was it, coleslaw? Okay, I'm gonna let you try yours because I know yours is, it requires it to be a lot warmer, so. 
I decided to go with one of the seasonal items here. Uh, there's technically two of them right now, specifically for the Halloween season. So there's the chicken and waffle sandwich, as well as a maple shake. I'm not in a milkshake mood today, so uh, we're here for food. That's why I went with the chicken and waffle sandwich. And it's a fried chicken breast, lettuce, tomato, bacon, chili sriracha mayo served on a, it says a waffle cone bun, but it's literally like a, it's a waffle cut into four pieces. So it's not, not really a waffle cone per se, but it's waffles on there. And this is $12.95 and comes with one side. All those sides of rhino are already said, french fries, Tater tots, potato salad, or cool slaw. Cool slaw? Cool slaw. And you're a cool dude. So, I love the layers on this sandwich. It's actually really, really beautiful. I mean, it's a big piece of chicken. Yeah, it's a really big piece of chicken. And I mean, you can see where the chicken was separated from the breading, but not in a bad way per se. But having the different colors in there, you know, the, the white iceberg lettuce that's chopped up in there, the bacon, the sriracha mayo coming out through it, the chicken, the tomato, like. The presentation on this thing is beautiful, but it's not just about what it looks like, it's about how it tastes. So let's do this. I prefer my food only to look good and taste terrible. You Instagram star. <laughs> I need to get a little bit deeper into the sandwich. I basically just got chicken on the first bite. It's nice, nice breaded chicken, still nice and warm. Uh, breading salty, crispy, not at all, not at all uh, soggy in any way, shape or form. So perfect in that regards. Uh, I feel like you didn't get any waffle. Just the very little bit of waffle. The thing smells amazing. Like it has this aroma of, I mean, yeah, chicken, waffles, and a little bit of maple all coming right off it. Like, uh. mm. oh, there's like steam coming off of that one. Mm. Yeah. Even though it wasn't, it didn't say anything about maple in there. I don't know if it's just from the waffle, the thick batter, whatever it came together, whatever, but it is giving off this nice, sweet, and salty difference in terms of taste, you know, from the bacon and the sriracha mayo, just, I don't know, it's, it's a perfect combination of balance of flavors, so. How, how, much, you, how much of the sriracha you get? Is it spicy? Not enough for my taste. I could use a lot more, but you and I are also condiment kings. We mm -hmm. we would rather douse everything that we have in more than condiments than you actually need. So I think it has the right amount for what the average person would want, but I would like a little bit more. I'm gonna get back to that thing in a second, but I'm gonna try the potato salad. So like Rhino said, it is diced into very, very small pieces. It's not, not something you typically see unless maybe it's like in a really small container of packaging in a grocery store or something, but very heavy mayo based. Which works because I'm in the mood for a nice mayo slaw. Sometimes, you know. Just mayonnaise, that's all you wanted today. That sometimes I do like, I like a good vinegar based dressing when you're coming to either coleslaw or potato salad, but. You know what though? It is very just mayonnaise heavy right on the front. Like you said, there probably is a little bit of dill in there. I could use a little like stone ground mustard or something in there. Mm -hmm. That would probably take it to the next level, but the potatoes themselves are, they're not soggy, you know, they have that. It's like they were cooked the right amount, not overdone. So it mixed all together, came out nice. So just a little, nice little deli meal all together. So. Why don't we keep eating, and then uh, we'll update you in a little bit. We are all wrapped up with our meal. Mm. And what was your final verdict on it, Rhino? Oh, I was, I was good. I thought the sandwich was pretty good. You know, I've sat for a few minutes, and I felt like it was it was nice and light. The only thing is, like I said during the video, is that the mushroom, any portobello mushroom can get kind of a little slimy. Um, you know, and then the, having the grilled onions was a little, added a little bit of grease to it. But 
but still it came out pretty light. I just really love arugula on stuff yeah. and I, I thought the avocado was great. And so it's a sandwich I would definitely get again. It worked really well with the multi-grain bread. I add a little bit of yellow mustard to my potato salad too and it was like, it was real good. Real good right there with that. Yeah, I, I've had your sandwich before too. I eat it with the Swiss though, unlike you. Uh, I, I love Swiss cheese. You know, it's whether it's Swiss or it's more on the Gruyere side, I like I like a good uh, a good uh, exotic cheese of sorts, but not very exotic considering it's and everything. But yeah, overall, I really like your sandwich. Like the before too. Uh, anytime I've had it, and I, I, sorry, I forgot to say how much it was too. Oh. And all that stuff. I took a picture of the menu to say that, and I know I, I said mine completely. Completely forgot because I took a picture of the menu that didn't have the price on it, but. Um, mine was, oh, I didn't take a picture of both sides of the menu. Sorry. It was somewhere between $9.99 and $11.99. I'm pretty sure it was $9.99. Yeah. Might have been $10.99. Yeah. Somewhere in there, sorry. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I took a bite of yours too, and um, I actually thought yours was really good. It definitely left that waffle cone flavor in my mouth. Yeah, and well, that's where we also figured out. It took us way too long to figure it out. When it meant waffle cone, it didn't mean actually yeah, like, like crispy, a cone crunchy, yeah. of waffle it meant the same type of batter they would use for a waffle cone so it had that extra sweetness to yeah. it and and a little bit of that mapleness to it so that's it was like as soon as rhino pointed out like oh we're idiots maple yeah cone as in or a waffle cone as in a waffle cone it's like oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I thought it worked really well, though, with the sweet, um, the sweet, like, that sweet flavor, and then the wa the the uh, sriracha that was in there was kind of a nice compliment, where it was, it's like what well, you said. I actually didn't think it was very spicy at all. No. It was more of adding that, like, combo to get it, that weird, sweet, spicy. Sweet, I would, spice, it was a sweet, a sweet heat, I would probably heat. describe. Yeah, that's yeah. better. It's a sweet, sweet heat. salty, heaty kind of sandwich. Heat. Uh it was massive too. I mean, twelve ninety five for that specialty sandwich. I am super full, and you know, it's. I, I didn't eat breakfast today, so I know anything I eat right away, I'm gonna get really full really quickly. But between that and the potato salad, I mean, that was one of the hardiest meals that I've had. I probably oh. could have just. I thought the yeah. price was on here. Sorry, I was like, maybe nah. it's there. I, I genuinely probably could have had just half of it and like split it with someone else and I would have been content. A big piece of chicken. Yeah, it was really, really big. But that kind of leads us to the pricing and the overall experience here at Breadbox. It, it's one of the best deals you can get at yeah. Universal. I know none of the prices at their restaurants, as long as you don't do their combos with milkshakes and other upsells, as long as you don't do that, basically the quick service here is all pretty reasonable, but I think Redbox is honestly one of the best values you can actually get. Yeah. I was, I would even said it's one of those places where I'd even consider like if I was in the theme park, popping out and grabbing a, grabbing a quick, uh, like a quick lunch here or something if I was going from Universal to Islands of Adventure or vice versa. Yeah. You know, it'd be worth it for me. Yeah. I think if you're over at Islands of Adventure and you're in the mood for like a sandwich, I would definitely just leave and come to Breadbox with... Oh, no, not go to Blondie's? Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, with with Universal Studios, it's a little bit more difficult because you do have Today Cafe there, and that is... That's they true. make some that solid sandwiches, yeah, yeah. but I think I still might like Breadbox's just a little bit better. I'd have to go back there Yeah, again. I've been here a couple times, and I will say, too, this being... Like leaving the space, the amount of space in between when I'm here, I think this is uh, this holds up yeah. quality-wise very well. And I love the decor inside. You know, it's like it has this kind of like 1950s sandwich shop in a way, with all the with the the blues and the oranges, and then everything's just clean and white inside. Yeah. All the is all the tins, sandwich tins on the inside Plenty of places window. to yeah. grab a quick Instagram shot. Exactly. So it's a beautiful restaurant. The food holds up still like it has every single time great for the price annual pass discounts if you have one yeah uh you know make that make that meal even cheaper and i just like it and i like the fact they give you real utensils too they yeah give I, you, do, I do like that yeah. you know any anything and I like that the adds. plastic cup with the water so yeah. i'm not like oh i'm not giving a dinky water cup they give me the full size cup of water yeah so overall i still completely recommend bread box so yeah. i know you have to you have to get out to City Walk and then walk up the stairs or the escalator and find you, it you over the way. You work potato salad. Exactly. Yeah. So definitely come here and check it out. But that's it for this review. Uh, we like it. 
and we think you should come eat at bread box sandwiches. So there you have it. Mm, there are words for that. Mm. They could be good. They could be bad. Yeah. They could have been good. They could have been bad, I guess. You've already heard <laughs> yeah, them. I, we shan't repeat them. No, we, we won't. We we wouldn't dare repeat them. Heck, we didn't. Again, like I said at the top of the show, we didn't even need to do this portion. We could have just said, hey, we're bringing you a straight vlog from the parks this week. Been so long since we've done that. Yeah. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it helped you plan your travel. If it didn't, well, then there's plenty of other podcasts out there that can help you do so. And uh, just forget about us. Don't. But don't. Yeah, but don't. Hey, Rhino, this was fun. Thanks. It was either fun or wasn't. Oh, no, it I'm was... I'm not 100% sure. This was, part was fine. It, and and the, the food was fun. And the experience was fun. It was a little bit loud for our taste. We could have used with the volume being a little bit quieter. Uh, it's, you know, of course there was that obnoxious person who kept bothering us in the background. Are you just, we should just place some money on, like, definitives that are going to happen? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, it's a dining review of us at Universal, so chances are there's the one person who comes and sits down at the table that's practically on top of ours when the entire mm -hmm. restaurant is completely empty. Uh, it, it is way too loud, either because of the amount of people in there or the music that they're blasting in there for no reason whatsoever. And then it's, uh, you know, the food, it was, it, it surprised us. We expected it to be terrible, but it was actually okay. So I think that kind of nails off most of our reviews that we do. And if it didn't, then, well, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to watch us back and say, hey, got that one wrong. Mm. Happens every now and then. But, yeah, so much fun. So thank you, Rhino, once again, for going to Universal with me. It's fun friendship, all that I was crap. like, oh, I always like Universal. Yeah, yeah. Da -na 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 -na. Bum, bum. <laughs> okay yes. so thank you all for listening and watching of course if you're watching this on youtube go ahead subscribe hit that bell button so you get notified anytime we have any new videos and then also leave us fun comments leave us those questions for next week's show so uh on top of that too uh what was it i yeah itunes spotify stitcher Google Podcasts, wherever you're listening to this, go ahead and make sure that you uh, are subscribed if you can do so. And if you can leave us comments and feedback, also do that, too. That would be awesome. So that's going to do it now, I believe, for this episode. Thank you so much for listening and watching and putting up with us as a whole. And uh, we, we do it because you keep complimenting us. And that's really it. And we'll see you on the bra bra za. Yeah. <laughs> and after we're wrapping this up and look for our new podcast feed, the Zaz and Bras. Zaz and Bras. So, okay. We'll see you next time. Until then, remember, uh, we still have not changed the team.